Charles Peckham here. In Texas, employers can be held liable under discrimination and harassment laws for the acts of management and vice principals, subject to certain defenses. This is important in all employment cases, including sexual harassment. What's the law and how's the proof found? Well, a person is a vice principal if, number one, that person is a corporate officer, or two, the person has authority to employ, direct, and discharge an employee of the employer, three, that person is engaged in the performance or non-delegable or absolute duties of the employer, or four, the employer has confided to that person the management of the whole or a department or division of the business of the employer. Now, a person is a manager or is employed in a managerial capacity if, number one, the person has the authority to employ, direct, and discharge an employee of the employer, or sort of like vice principal, number two, the employer has confided to that person the management of the whole or a department or division of the business of the employer. Now, the proof necessary to prove either vice principal or management status can be difficult to obtain and is often found in the job descriptions or employee handbook of a company or can be carefully drawn from the testimony of human resources and other management or employees of an employer. One needs competent legal representation to get this evidence to hold employers liable for the acts of their higher level employees who might discriminate or harass, even sexually harass its employees. At Peckham Martin, we work hard to get this evidence and to make certain that employers protect their employees from harm.